But well, maybe we can cut him off here and... Oh, no, he's not turning. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. You duped me, you motherfucker. <laughs>Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more BMNG and today we're going to continue looking at the 1980s era Oldsmobile. Uh, I'm going to do a couple things that I didn't cover in yesterday's video and I was reading the comments and a couple different people actually wanted me to go down the giant ski ramp with the uh, unfinished work in progress restoration edition of this vehicle. So if we can even get it down to the... Uh, to the uh, the jump here, I don't think we can. So we're gonna have to move it up just a little bit. All right, here we go. Remember, this thing has no power because it is a work in progress, so the engine is not connected to anything. So we are just going on off kinetic motion right here, kinetic energy, sorry. And I think we should still be able to clear this. Yes, oh, beautiful. We might actually land in one piece. Oh no, <laughs> oh, don't lose control, don't lose control, no. All right, do the brakes work? I think the brakes work. Oh, but it's not really gonna gonna help us that much. We just set back this project a solid a few months, maybe a year. Oh, all that hard work for nothing. I'm actually kind of curious if we can actually kind of put this thing together and make it in working order. I don't know if we can, but we can at least try, right? All right, so we're off to a pretty good start. We got the front bumper at least, so let's see if we can actually... I want to see that. I want to. It would be really cool if you could actually get this thing in working order just from the uh, the car options here. Let's see. All right. So well, how about we drop an 800 horsepower street legal engine in here? Oh, let's go ahead and swap that. Oh man, look at that. Okay, what else can we do here? Oh, look at that. We have power. Okay, where's the hood though? Can we actually get the hood on there? All right, well, we got most of the car working. We have an 800 horsepower engine in here, so I'd say that's that's pretty heavy duty. It's a lot better than whatever the hell was in there, the working in progress engine. But yeah, we have a working car now, so that's pretty cool. That kind of opens up a lot of options as far as this game goes in the future. I can see kind of the story. Oh, God, we went flying. Holy shit, 440. Jesus Christ. Well, we just wrecked it now, but yeah. This kind of opens up doors to like what this the potential of this game, especially with the the whole garage mode. You could actually like kind of build a car from scratch, which is pretty awesome. A lot of games like attempt to do that, but I don't know a lot that really do it like really well. And I can see Beam and G working out very well in those aspects. So yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. All right, now I'm kind of curious. Can we drop that 800 horsepower engine in this old rusty piece of shit? I think you can. Oh, please tell me I can. Oh, yes, you can 800 horsepower and this piece of shit. That is like the ultimate sleeper right there All right, let's fire it up and boom. Oh Yes, oh, that's awesome. I don't know if this car can handle it I feel like it might just fall apart at the seams. Let's see how we how good we can do. Can we drift it? Oh Yeah, yeah that's awesome. So yeah, you can you can officially drop the 800 horsepower engine in the old rust bucket here Oh, that's 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 just too cool guys and Drift this thing doesn't drift the best, but it can be done. Look at that. This is just an old Heavy ass boat that we are drifting around this track uh, The tires would honestly just be exploding in real life. Oh, no, no, it's not working. Oh shit Okay, let's just crash this thing is ba this thing is basically made of tin foil. We crashed it into one thing It just explodes. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there goes the door. Oh careful <laughs> the Hubcaps all right, let's let's find somewhere to crash this thing. Ooh, careful now! Don't fall apart completely. Oh god. Oh yeah. See, see how flimsy this thing is. It's still going though. The engine, the engine still wants to go, but unfortunately, everything else has just <laughs> reached the end of its life, basically. All right, let's see what else we got. I there's a bunch of these that I kind of just glazed over. Um, I do know that people wanted to see the police car in action, so I think towards the end of this video, we're actually gonna have. A few a few police chases because I know you guys like those you want to see more of them on the channel But we'll leave that until the end of the video. So we got the supercharged 800 horsepower Delta <laughs> That's that's a mouthful. Let's go ahead and see what this thing's capable of I will say this is very pretty to look at does how much power does it have behind it? Are those drag tires? Yes, they are okay three two one. Let's see how fast it is off the line and go I mean it's it's a little slow off the line, but once it gets going, this thing is- Oh god, it's hard to control. Oh, 
Yeah, we're never gonna make it. We're never gonna make it through that tree line right there. And the cool part is this particular variant doesn't have a driver, but if you want to add one, you can just simply go over to the vi the vehicle configurator and uh, where is it? Oh yeah, driver. You can just the Stiggy, which is the girl edition, I guess, the dummy and the regular Stig. We're gonna put the regular Stig in there for right now because I don't know if the uh, the Stiggy edition kind of fits this car. But oh, so we now have a Stig driving. Oh what what the fuck did I break? <laughs> okay, apparently reversing in this car breaks the drive shaft. Drive shaft. Good to know. And the inside of the uh, more race type variants even have like a special interior and uh, dashboard. It's really pretty awesome looking. It looks like a uh, like a toolbox basically. And has the long ass shifter knob, so you can tell this thing is basically for racing. Oh man, these cars do not steer worth a damn though. They're basically like trying to drive a boat. No, come on, you bastard. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's find something a little bit more manageable. Alright, so this is one of the better cab models I've seen in this game. I could definitely see like a New York style level, or maybe even like a crazy taxi type minigame coming out of stuff like this. I mean, this is v very comparable to the uh, stock taxi models. Like, this is probably one of the closest, like one of the car mods that's closest to like dev quality that I've ever seen. It's actually crazy. What the hell does this, does this thing say, this ad say? It says... This mod is brought to you by Sarge Fiados Artwork. Yeah, good, nice, nice, uh, <laughs> nice uh, self-promotion there. I actually like it. You deserve it, dude. This is amazing work. I wasn't alive during the 80s, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty much what you'd be looking at if you were a cab driver in the <laughs> 80s. Oh, the attention to detail is just so awesome. Yeah, you can, uh, right off the bat, you can tell this one is just way smoother, built for comfort, not for speed. Still turns like a boat, but you know, it's it, I can just feel the comfort radiating through the screen right now. Alright, so I kind of just want to show how flimsy and real to life this rusted out edition. I don't know why, I just have a love affair with this rusted out edition. It's just so well done, I can't get over it. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how flimsy this thing is. So we're going to drop it off this cliff right here. I know it's no cliff map, but we might have to try that later. But here's a good a good placeholder for the regular map. We're just going to drop it right off a good, where's a good cliff? Here's a good one. Just to show you how fucking flimsy this thing is. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! And it's gonna fall apart here. Let's get a better camera angle. We'll put it down here somewhere so we can catch all the all the destruction and all its glory. And there it goes, and it's get basically gonna explode into a million pieces. Let's get a little bit of slow motion. Somebody suggested that I bind the uh, slow motion keys to the controller, which is a really good idea because I know it's probably pretty annoying to watch me pause the game and hear the click, click, click. But yeah, anyway, look how <laughs> goddamn flimsy this thing is. Just every part imaginable that can fall off, falls off, including the Stig. How's he doing in there? He's still okay. It looks a little bit uncomfortable. I think the bottom of the car actually fell out and is not part of the car anymore. But yeah, this thing is an actual piece of shit. And this uh, little sticker on the front that says it's selling for 1200 bucks is a ripoff. All right, apparently this one looks pretty normal, but it runs on diesel. I wonder if it actually sounds any different. Oh yeah, listen to how deep that is. That is a diesel engine, if I ever heard one, loud and stinky. And does it have the black smoke also? Can I roll coal here? Oh yeah, look at that, there we go. <laughs> the attention to detail, I can't, get I can't get over how awesome that is. I know there's probably benefits, but I never really got the, uh, uh, the reason why you would want it, like just a normal car that runs on diesel. Can anybody in the comments kind of tell me that? Because I know a lot of Volvos run on diesel. I never really got that because it's usually more expensive and it's loud and it's not good for the environment and it doesn't want to start up when it's cold. I don't know. I just don't get it. So yeah, I know I praise this mod a lot, but if there really is any other mod that you just want to like drive around a good map like this and just kind of chill, this would be the mod for you, I gotta say. And uh, if I ever do get around to making more mods of the week, will probably be mods of the month now. This is definitely going to be number one. So stay on the lookout for that because I do plan on making more. I just haven't got around to it. I've been really busy. I haven't haven't known. I ha I just don't know what to do with all this the subscriber growth. So I just try to push out uh, these videos and hopefully you guys like them. But yeah, I do plan on doing mods of the week. Some more. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, so we have several different police variants we, here. We have uh, the regular Highway Patrol, high ro Highway Patrol 2, and Interceptor, which I guess is like kind of the, uh, uh, I guess like the uh, just stealth version, an undercover cop type deal. We have the 
Drag Edition, which is just a ridiculous, ludicrous version, like the drag car, basically. And then we have a few more down here. It says Regency Sedan Unofficial Pace Car. Oh, I guess that's not a uh, police car. But anyway, we have another Highway Patrol, just, I guess, a different model. And oh, I don't know what this is. A more badass look. Yeah, I could say that's more badass. And then we have, like, the <laughs> absolutely batshit crazy one. It says Drive Fast Ahead First, Think About the Handling After. That, that sounds about right. Alright, so I think it's time we have a good old-fashioned police chase. I haven't done one in a while, so we're gonna have this ginormous lighted, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, police car against. How about, oh, uh, let's see here. How about that 800 horsepower? Where is it? I know this thing's handling is gonna be shit, so I should have the uh, advantage there, hopefully. But this thing will have the advantage as far as speed, so it should be a pretty good race, or chase, I should say. So let's get the old uh, AI app. Where the hell is that? Oh shit, he chose to go the other way. Shit, okay, hopefully he crashes. <laughs> oh god, respawn, respawn. We gotta catch up to him. Oh, he's long gone. Is he going off road? Oh, that's ballsy, dude. You do not have the tires for that. Hopefully, I do. I'm not, I mean, they look a lot better than yours, but uh, he's just leaving me in a cloud of dust right now. Hopefully, he <laughs> just crashes. If you mess up once, dude, you're going off the cliff. I hope you know. Oh my god, has the AI been improved a lot? He is like miles ahead of me. All right, I think I'm catching up a little bit, but he does have the uh, speed advantage here. But, oh god. Okay, careful. Where are you, dude? You're, you're just leaving me in a cloud of dust here. There you are. Okay. We might have a chance now. All right, so we got a good old backcountry police chase here. You, what are you doing, dude? Oh, oh, oh. And you, <laughs> you couldn't decide, so I'll let you go this time just so we have, like, a, an interesting race here. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. I forgot which button it is. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay, now we have officially... Well, this is like a real police chase. We have the lights and everything now, so I can't see. Where the fuck are you going, dude? Oh, this is just plain awesome, guys. I love police chases. I don't know why I haven't done more on the channel. I need to start doing them more because they seem to be pretty popular. One of my most popular videos is actually a police chase video. So what the hell am I thinking? I need to do these more. They're fun for me and fun for you. All right, I guess I should have uh, gone with a car, an opponent that was a little bit slower, and I seem to have broken my tire. Oh shit, I guess that's the end for us. We're gonna have to restart, guys. Alright, here we go. I got a better chance. What the hell are you doing, dude? Anyway, we have a better chance now. We're right on his ass this time, but he does. He is gonna pull away since he has the faster vehicle. But maybe we can cut him off here and. Oh no, he's not turning. Oh shit. Oh wow, you duped me, you motherfucker. Alright, what are you doing, man? Are you gonna go straight now? Yes, he had to think about it for a second. Oh, I could have got him there, but I'm not gonna make that mistake again. We're just gonna follow, we're gonna tail him, and hopefully he crashes and I can just absolutely destroy him. God damn, that thing is fast. I forgot how fast it is. Oh, wait, he's gonna, oh, no, you're not gonna turn? Oh, bad move, dude. We can pit maneuver you here, maybe. Or you could just pull away because you have 800 fucking horsepower, but it does look like he's getting a bit of the speed wobbles here. <laughs> oh, please wipe out, please wipe out. Where are you going, man? Oh, careful. Careful. Boop. I'll just boop you a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. What are you doing, man? Those tires are kind of fucking him up because they're getting too much grip. And they're kind of destabilizing him a little bit. But he might be able to pull away in this long-ass tunnel here, hopefully. Wow, those lighting effects are cool as hell, though. It doesn't seem like he's actually going to his full potential. I feel like he should be able to pull away from me pretty easily. I'm only going 78 miles an hour. He's... He could easily be going 150 right now, although that probably would not be very smart for him because he would be dead in a matter of minutes because he would just kill himself by crashing into the wall or something. Or I could crash into the wall. Careful now. Oh, he's pulling away. He still has the speed wobbles though, so he, I feel like a crash is pretty imminent here. Uh, hopefully he turns and I can actually nab him. Oh, he's slowing down. What the hell are you slowing down for, dude? Okay, let's try to pit maneuver him here. Careful. Careful, shit, okay, that wasn't a good pit maneuver, but maybe we can corner him, yeah, oh, 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 no, he's gonna keep going, oh, it's a battle in the tunnel here, this is like the, the dark night, basically, here, I'll pull, oh, no, I'm stuck to him, all right, pull away, oh, shit, <laughs> slow down, you bastard, Ugh, this is just, we're pretty much just grinding the walls here, it's basically whoever's car is gonna die first right here, I do know I am fucking him up royally right now, oh, come on, just keep grinding it, Ugh. I wish I could actually pull away from him, but he seems to be stuck. <laughs> oh, this this chase is going nowhere fast. 
I think he's actually giving me a massive speed boost here. So we are conjoined as one now. It's not really a chase anymore. We are just two conjoined cars, one with 800 horsepower. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, did we just stop him? I think we did. All right, get in the fucking back, dude. You're going in. All right, let's actually switch out his car for something a little bit more manageable, something we can hopefully kind of uh, kind of take on easier. How about the, uh, not the shittiest junkyard car, but a per still a pretty shitty rusted out old piece of junk. So hopefully this will be a little bit more interesting. All right, here you go. Don't wreck yourself right on the rock. What the hell are you doing, man? <sighs> I mean, whatever works for you. <laughs> I guess he's going backwards now. That is not going to end well for you, dude. Come on now. You should know better than this. All right, I have no choice. You're, I got to put you out of your misery. Oh, wow. Okay, I put myself out of my own misery. God damn it. All right, you going to take it easy this time? Hopefully it make an interesting chase and not try to go backwards. You dumb ass. Hopefully, I guess the, uh, the shittier the car, the shittier the AI. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, he's going off road. Well, <laughs> oh, you're going to get yourself stuck, dude, but I will... I, will, I won't take in yet, but I, I feel like you're you're gonna get stuck any second now. Your car was literally, it's not made for the streets, it's not made for anything. Oh, you don't stand a chance out here, man. I'll just keep booping you. Oh, 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 he's pulling away. Oh, wow, the little junker is trying to get away from me. And that's not gonna end well for you, dude. <laughs> oh, what should we do? How should we kill this guy? Should we push him off the cliff? Or should we just, uh, you know, T-bone him and hope he spins out? Uh, the good person in me wants to just kind of spin him out and that can be the end of it But uh, the bad person the fun person in me wants to push this bastard off the cliff uh, I guess I'm gonna I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully is he stuck? Wow, okay, that car is a piece of shit. He just gave up. Oh wait. No, no, he was just stuck Yeah, he gave up again. <laughs> he doesn't know how to reverse apparently I will literally respawn you in a place where you can get away. Hopefully. Let's see how you fare Come on. There you go and go back to here and if you don't get away from me, you're you are the worst criminal I've ever seen. Is he getting away? Oh, he's choosing to go the other way. That's probably a smart move. The road is your friend in this situation, dude. <laughs> oh, he's booking it. Oh, I feel like he's gonna go straight off the cliff though, because the handling on that thing is absolutely atrocious. But hopefully he's a little bit smarter smarter than I give him credit for. But I haven't seen anything to tell me otherwise yet. Oh, you chose the smart route going on the road. That's probably a good choice, dude. All right, now we got a proper chase here. What's not? Oh, careful. I don't want to spin him out just yet, so we, just so we have a little bit of excitement. But I kind of want to see how fast he can go, because I know he's a little bit faster than that junkyard car, but not by much. Definitely not faster than this uh, patrol vehicle. But we can tail him and kind of just boop him like that. There we go. And we should make our move soon. We can push him off the cliff, hopefully. Oh, let's just pull up our, our, on the side of him. Hopefully, I want to push him straight off the cliff. There we go. Or into the sign. Yes. <laughs> and down the cliff he goes. I'm not even mad that we wrecked ourselves. Oh, look at him go. Oh, you got lucky. That could have been a lot worse. Let's see if we can actually back him up. Or I could just do this <laughs> and be a complete bastard and just flip him off the cliff. There you go. You got what you deserved. You're probably dead. And I love it. So yeah, guys, that was just a little bit more in-depth on this 80s Oldsmobile. It's a ton of fun. If you haven't checked it out yet, you should definitely go and download download it. And if you haven't seen my first video on it, you should def definitely go check that out because I mess around with the drag. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, do you really think crossing the river is going to be the best, the best course of action for you right now? I... Uh... I have no words for you, AI. You are completely stupid. But anyway, yeah, guys, definitely go check out that video. Um, it's pretty long, actually. It's I go in-depth quite a bit, and we smash a lot of shit. But yeah, it's a good video. You should definitely check it out. But if you like this video, make sure to like and leave me a comment on other mods that you would like to see videos on. And make sure to uh, subscribe if you're not, and I will talk to you guys. And apparently this car <laughs> wanted to go down the cliff, too. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.